Hi everyone, how are you? Long time no see. Thank you so much for coming in to say hi. I have a hair somewhere. Nothing's changed, I'm still crazy. So I thought we would chat, get ready. I've already done my foundation and my brows because it's boring. Um, I will show you what I used and then we're just gonna go ahead you know how I like to talk, and I want to get caught up with each other. Please tell me down in the comments how you are, what's been going on with you, how are you handling everything with the holidays. <sighs> Let's share. Let's reconnect. I have missed you all so much. I'll briefly catch you up on all the stuff going on, and then we're just going to hang out. I'm going to actually film another video after this one. My empties is, oh, you can see. See right there? Full, 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 full. So if you want to hang out with me, talk with me, see what's going on, see how I got this amazing hair. <laughs> it's not. I love you guys. You know that. Hang on and we'll get started. For my foundation, I pulled out my NARS Medium 2. And this is in Santa Fe. I have been using that lotion that I saw Elle talk about. It's glow. I got it at Walmart. Like under six bucks, I think. If I remember, I'll go get it. It gives me just enough. I didn't self-tan all, all spring, all summer. And I've used that. This is day two. I was like transparent, so I am impressed with it, and it washes off so easy. It's not like a regular self-tanner where you have to go through the splotchy time. This, it's just great. Anyway, that's the foundation I used. Um, my eyebrow pencil, I use, I use my LA Girl in Warm Brown. I have so many eyebrow pencils that I need to go through. That's the one I used. I really do like this eyebrow pencil. It is very good and it lasts nicely. Um, oh, and I did just a little bit of contour kind of with this Physician's Formula. So I think we're caught up to speed. I have been using, I've used this from Tarte, if y'all remember it. I think it was last year. I was really happy to get it. I've been using my Huda Nude Palette and the second volume Jaclyn Hill when I want something a little warmer. But um, I think I'm gonna stick with the Nude Palette today just because it's fun. I got rid of so many eyeshadow palettes. I still have so many eyeshadow palettes. And in the whole past several months, like before this whole, before our world changed, I got a hair somewhere. Before our world changed, I think I've only bought, I have them right here. These are the only eyeshadow palettes I've bought. Yes, it's going to be all over the place. Do you expect anything different from me? Come on. I got this Natasha Denona, the bronze palette. Oh, maybe I should use that today. It is pretty. And when I used it, like I said, I was transparent, so... Oh, I think I might use this today. This pumpkin spice, it is so nice, you all. It is so pretty. I love this. And then I bought the two big ones from NYX. The Modern Dreamer, I'm sure you all have seen it. And the Ultimate Utopia. Look, these colors, like these up here, make all of these wearable. Love, love, love. So I think I am going to use the Natasha Denona. Do I have one of my Mary set? Y'all, I have done so many videos and then with everything going on with my mom, my sister, they're fine, but you know, things change as everybody gets older. My sister is on a decline. It's not at a fast pace right now, but still I have to be a lot more hands-on. I can't edit as much there as I used to, so it makes it difficult. But what I wanted to share with you is I got five of these. 
That hair is driving me nuts. Let me take care of that. Okay, I think I got it. I got five of these because I love this person. I enjoy the company, but I love this person and I am so proud of her. I did a video as soon as I got the brush set and I forget what happened with that. And then I did another one. I'm just scrapping all my old ones because I've been trying to edit them and I'm like, these are so old. I went to edit one the other day and it was from September because I talked about, you know, the thing that Jack and I've been going through. It was supposed to be resolved the next week. That's how old that clip was. The one morning I can film and I don't know what they're doing across the road, but it is setting my dogs off. I apologize. I will try to neutralize that background noise, but it's going to make my voice sound funny. There's, I can see on my security camera something's going on. Anyway, let's just talk. Like I said, I bought five because I'm an overachiever. But when my girl came out with her brush set from Sigma, the last time I checked, this is still on the site. I'm so proud of you, Mary just amazing and honestly these brushes perfect they are perfect I love them but these brushes are perfect it's really all you need I'm going to start with the E35 we're going to go into this collar well I have a little bit of a nervous breakdown because my dog's going to stop barking okay so how are you I feel like it has been forever um the last video that I did I believe it was in empties when I tell you I believe it was a couple months old when I posted it and that's what I was like I'm done I'm deleting all those videos we're going to have a fresh start I'm only going to talk about it briefly because I'm not going to give it power um, when I said in that one video about um, in September, hopefully things were going to be de-escalated and taken care of, well, it was. And the persons, I knew they weren't happy because they truly wanted to destroy us in every way, emotionally, financially, social status, whatever you want to call it. Um, they wanted to destroy us and they were not able to do that. So I told Jack, I said, you know, I'm not going to live in fear, but I have a very strong feeling that there's going to be retaliation because they did not meet their goal, which was evil, but still it was their goal. Okay. I was just blending while I was waiting for them to get done. The FedEx guy came. Those people across the way were leaving. So I was letting my dogs calm down while I blend. <laughs> like we weren't living in fear. We were very th thrilled, blessed that everything went the way it did. But I still had this feeling. I'm like, mm, it's not over. You know what I mean? You just, you just know. Your gut, you know. I'm going to take the E25 brush now and I'm going to go into suntan. We went on about our stuff. Some other things happened. Um, Tef had a couple little health struggles. Nothing like there was no hospitalization or anything. But, you know, we had, we had a couple obstacles. Jackie got another clean bill of health from Cleveland Clinic. So that was awesome. My grandpuppy is growing so much. It's crazy. There is a picture I would love to show you. My granddaughter is distance learning and he will sit beside her on her little iPad. And my daughter said, smile. And they both looked up and they both smiled. I would love to show you that, but I can't share my granddaughter's picture, but it is so cute. The Tuesday before Thanksgiving, the retaliation happened. So basically, we're kind of back in the middle of it. But the thing is, it looks kind of odd because, do you know what I mean? It's stressful, but yet it's different. It's different. And there are going to be a lot more serious legal actions taken this time, there has to be. I mean, we can't every few months or weeks wait for 
somebody to do something to us. I mean, you just can't do that. But we are okay. That night, Jack did end up in the emergency room. It's been four weeks ago now. On a Saturday morning, he got up. He was going to go hunting, and he was having a lot of pain in his arm. He laid back down when he got back up. I mean, I have never seen him in close to being in this much pain. It was horrible. So long story short, several doctor visits, we found out that he has a degenerating degeneration in his neck. Um, he had a really bad accident and fell off of an oil rig like three stories down on his neck years before we met. So I don't know if some of it is from that or what, you know, who, who knows what causes what. Then they said, well, it looks like you have a spur. The CAT scan showed a spur. So he's on medication and doing all this. Then that night, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, when retaliation happened, there was a physical, physical confrontation and I was freaked out because they said that that spur was from the CAT scan looked like it was hitting on his spinal cord and I was uh it was just I'm not going to go into all, all that it was traumatic but anyway he ends up in the emergency room he is in so much pain like his blood pressure was high enough for him to have a stroke they did another CAT scan to see you know this altercation had done anything to him physically to his injury it did not thankfully just caused him a lot of pain and for some reason he started having a lot more pain in his arm than he did anything so are those pretty together mm, I'm gonna go in with this one and this is one of their flat shader brushes I'll tell you the number here in a minute e55 so he has since had an MRI he just had an MRR he just had an MRI done last Friday, yes, yesterday, what is today? No, Monday, today's Wednesday, yesterday, Monday, my oh, word, he went to his doctor for the con consult after, and the doctor said the MRI showed that it is a bulging disc, a very bad, Jack took pictures, it's horrible. So they were going to try to get him in this Thursday tomorrow and do a epidural and shoot steroids straight up into that disc to get the swelling down and give him some relief. They said they had to wait on insurance approval while well, Jack was checking on it yesterday and it hadn't even been submitted yet. So he was not the happiest camper. So he is having his vehicle worked on right now and He's going to talk to the insurance today because, of course, he called the doctor's office yesterday. There's nothing on my brush. I just wanted to blend a little bit, just make it a little bit smoother. So he was going to call the insurance while he's at getting his recalls fixed. And if there has not been any movement as far as getting it approved, then he's going to stop by. The doctor's office in person. That would be good. I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm gonna go in with this guy and this is an amazing brush that I never probably would have noticed before. This is the E36. Oh my goodness. It is perfection. It puts it right where you want it. You can blend so nicely with it. Just deepen up that outer corner with it and boom, you're done. I'm glad I did a bronzy look. I haven't done a bronzy look in a long time. Put a little bit of my Catrice. I just had to order some more of this. I have an Alta order coming today, a Sephora order coming today, a Jerry's Artorama order coming today. Um, and my Sephora order and my Alta order are probably the most boring, boring um, orders ever, but I'm excited about them. The title of that haul video, it has been, has it been a year? I think it's been a year 
since I've done a haul video. And there for a while, I think that's what y'all thought, that's all my channel was. Um, my Tarte concealer, I am almost out. This is something that I rebought. This Hourglass Veil Setting Spray. Mm, I love her. I know it's expensive. Let me tell you, when you go to set your under eye, if you have aged, mature under eyes, this sets it like a charm. It really does. And if you want to use a powder, it really does help it stay smooth and not get all weird. I just use a tiny, tiny bit. Y'all, you would not believe how long my hair got. Not this time I went to Cory, but the time before, so about five weeks ago. Okay, wait, two weeks before that. So seven weeks ago, I was getting ready to get in the shower and I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> My hair was down past my bra strap. It's just so fine, you couldn't tell. It was so that scraggly, I needed a trim and I didn't get one. So I started cutting my hair. I ended up cutting three inches off my hair. Two weeks later, so five weeks ago, I went in and I said, will you straighten it? Because it was so long, it was hard to get it straight. I can cut my hair like this length, not as long as it was. And um, he laughed at me and he said, well, do you want it straight or do you want it to have a, you know, I said, straight. He said, you're going to be losing some inches, girl. I said, I don't care. He said, you're going to be losing three inches, Trish. I don't care. So I've had about six and a half inches, six and a half inches of my hair cut off. It's crazy. It is those Friogio Be Well Supplements. That and my collagen, I'm telling you right now, that's what it is. It is crazy. My hair was never that long. If I decide to continue letting it grow, I will have him trim it, you know, every other time. I hadn't had it, I hadn't had him trim it in months. A lot of that was, was my fault. This is my NYX pencil in yogurt. And I'm gonna, I put it in my water line and I'm pulling it under my lash line. I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow under there and I'm gonna give it something that, you know, it'll kind of adhere to. I am so excited to say I had shared, I'm pretty sure, in a video that was up, that Corey had opened his own salon. Well, he is doing so well that they are actually moving about five doors down, almost triple the space. It's a corner shop. He's going to add, he has a somebody that does microblading and lip blushing. He's getting somebody that does lashes where he goes and gets Botox. That doctor is thinking about doing a couple days a week at his salon. It is just blooming for him. I am so happy. I'm so proud of him. Just amazing. That was um, this color right here is what I just put there. But the hair, I can't be bothered. I wash it. I scrunch a little bit of mousse on top. I put a serum or something on the length. And then I do a ballerina twist with a nighttime scrunchie and I go to bed <laughs> and I take it down, put a little bit of texturizing in it and my Paul Mitchell freeze and shine and scrunch it. And we're here for it. We're here for it. Great brushes. Don't sleep on those. Don't forget to check Mary's brushes out. She did so good. I'm so happy for her, proud of her. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun. Get my makeup set. This NARS All Day Luminous. Oh my heavens, that was a big bird. It lasts all day. Even, even with mask wear. It's pretty impressive. I feel like I have so much more to tell you. And to be honest, I can't remember like I talked about it in the other videos, but I can't remember right now 
you know, what was on what video and if that video was uploaded or if it's in the delete file. So it's like, I don't want to repeat myself, but I like to share with my friends what's going on. I'm pretty sure I had shared that Zoe, we found out, was going through dementia and she was having, oh, what is it called? Shoot, like at night, she couldn't handle, like she couldn't deal. There was weeks I got no sleep, none. And the only way she could rest is if I had our master bathroom light on. And I'm, what is with these big birds? I'm not even playing. Not a fan of birds anyway. Not when they act like they're coming. There are three more. They're big black birds. Are those vultures? This is like a bad movie. No surprise, my Essence Eyelash Primer. It is a love, love. I am still loving. I bought another tube of this Essence Volume Stylus, the Curl and Hold. I also got my daughter one. She loves it too. It is just so good. I didn't finish telling you about Zoe. She is doing better. We have her on medication that is kind of stabilizing it. I can turn the lights off now. I have some flameless candles that I have lit on our dresser and then a night light that's pretty good night light and that seems to be helping a lot she doesn't look as confused or scared as she did this is the LA girl in spice which that was ripping me up seeing her look so confused because she can't hear and I mean unless you scream I'm not gonna scream my dog she can't hear she's confused just don't wake her up quick. That is <laughs> not good. I'm gonna do a little, little contour. I'm going to take 920 in Nude Lust. This is from Maybelline. Isn't that gorgeous? Buxom and Sugar. And that is it. That is it. I think, I think I finished all my stories. I think we're caught up. Please let me know how you're doing. I really hope you all are doing well. I thank you so much for coming in to see me and spend time with me and for being so patient while my life has been insane. Yeah, I'm going to film an empties video so I can get back into a routine, which is what I want to do. I inevitably would like to have two to three, probably two videos on this channel and then probably two on my um, art channel, my Trish Oliver art channel. And um, I'm excited to get back into painting. There's a couple new techniques that I want to try. We'll see if they work or if they don't. It's about having fun and just enjoying the journey. So thank you all again so much. Have an amazing day and I will see you again real soon. Bye.